Okay, final video on kinetic energy. From junior search, you should know the definition. Here it is. Formula-wise, kinetic energy is a half times the mass by the speed of the object squared. So the v-value there is the speed. The v-value then is squared. It's multiplied by the mass and then multiplied by a half. Really important. Kinetic energy is a scalar, so there's no vectors going anywhere there. So the v-value is the speed. It's the magnitude of the velocity. Okay. <clears throat> A couple more equations that we come across here with kinetic energy that are quite important to remember. The first one is the kinetic energy lost can be calculated from the kinetic energy before minus the kinetic energy afterwards. So if there's a single particle, that would be a half mu squared minus a half mv squared, where u is the initial speed or the speed before the collision, and v is the final speed or the speed after the collision. If there are two particles though, you will need to factor in the total kinetic energy before and after. So you'll need to apply a half mv squared twice before and twice after. You'll see me do that in a moment. The second one is the fraction of kinetic energy lost. So it's the loss in kinetic energy divided by the kinetic energy before, where the kinetic energy lost is in the line above. So you could rewrite it as kinetic energy before minus kinetic energy after, all divided by kinetic energy before. And the final formula is the percentage of kinetic energy lost. And that's just the fraction of kinetic energy lost by 100. The fraction of kinetic energy loss being the line above. So to calculate the percentage of kinetic energy lost, you could just say it's the kinetic energy lost divided by the kinetic energy before multiplied by 100. Or what you could do is you could say it's in its uh, most expanded form. It's the kinetic energy before minus the kinetic energy after divided by the kinetic energy before, and then multiplied by 100. So let's see a couple of examples working out the last three of those equations. Right, <clears throat> particle of mass 6,000 kg is travelling at 10 metres per second. It collides and coalesces. Coalesces means it just connects and sticks onto it. Uh, to a particle of mass 2,000 kg, which is at rest. If after the collision they travel together at 4 metres per second, calculate the fraction of kinetic energy lost as a result of the collision. So, there's only one particle moving beforehand. That means we have a kinetic energy of one particle before. It's a half mv squared, where v is the speed, so a half 6,000 by 10 squared gives me 300,000. Afterwards, we have two particles, so we need each of their kinetic energies. We have the 6,000 kgs travelling at 4 metres per second, and we have the 2,000 kgs travelling at 4 metres per second. So what we do is we get the kinetic energy after by adding the individual kinetic energies together. That's 16,000 joules. To get the fraction in kinetic energy lost, I first need to get the loss in kinetic energy. So subtract the 2. Now this will be continued on the, the next slide. I've got the kinetic energy lost there. What I need to do is to divide that by the kinetic energy before to get the fraction of kinetic energy lost. So we had the kinetic energy lost divided by the kinetic energy before, and that gives me 71 over 75. Fraction form is fine here. Okay, bank the 71 over 75 mentally, because the next one is calculate the percentage loss in kinetic energy. In other words, we'll just multiply that fraction by 100. So there's my formula, there's my fraction, and when you multiply it by 100, you get 94.67% as the percentage kinetic energy lost. Okay, some questions for you guys, and that's the end of the video.